what's popping my overcomers i hope you guys are having a beautiful magical wonderful day if you have not seen the last video i posted you need to go check it out the link will be in my descriptions all right so let's get into today's video all right before i get started i'm gonna need you guys to give this video a thumbs up right now it's diagnosed with nmo um it mainly affected my vision of course you know i cannot see as well as other people um and it was like a big change for me because i went from being able to see everything and do everything like a regular sighted person to having to adapt and learn things totally different so one of the major things that i have learned since losing my vision is how to navigate a laptop computer desktop whatever how to navigate it without being able to see i know a lot of you guys are like what how is that possible like you have to see the computer to do everything wrong you actually do not have to see the computer to do everything so because of this helpful handy thing called jaws which is a reading software so basically it reads and tells you everything you're clicking or going to on the computer it tells you what you're typing and all that stuff my dog just threw up okay anyways this is my home screen is jennifer lopez and ella degeneres because they are my favorite people in the world so yeah all right so so i know you guys are probably like um how are you able to tell what keys you're pushing so with the help of this program called talking typer I think I have it loaded. Um, Edit. This Title is colon. okay. Stop it. This is Talking Typer. Talking Typer helps people um, mainly visually impaired people because this is what we use to learn the keyboard. But sighted people can use it as well. Um, basically, you start with the home row. They teach you that, and basically, it tells you what keys to press, and then. You're just pressing it and you do this for like like a month or more depending on how fast or how long you need to know the keyboard and basically that's how we memorize all the keys to navigate the computer to do everything else we use jaws this jaws is loading up so every button shut up jaws you hit controls to shut it up but every button I press it tells me what it is so Search box edit, type of text. Obviously the search box, which is the Windows key. Mm. Address me Google. Search bar edit, use JAWS key plus O plus M to move to control mm. element. O D. Don't know what that is, it just keeps popping up on my screen. G O S O G A E selected enter. Selected. Okay, so e normally e you will have to use the mouse to get to the header box, which is like where you um type in what website you want to go to. Um but instead of that we use Alt D, which takes us to the address bar. So let's just search something. Jennifer. Uh, e R Jennifer. L O D C. Lopez. Enter Jennifer Lopez dash Google search okay. dash. Okay. Now I know you guys are like, how do you read everything? So this is how I read everything. I hit two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert. F7, which pops up all of the links. It pops up all of the links that are on this website. So all I have to do is just use the down arrow, and it tells me every link on this computer, like on this website right now that I'm on. Google, news, images, video, books. Jennifer Alex Rodriguez, Je second act review, colon, Alex Rock, CJ, the best and the worst Jennifer Lopez films, dash <laughs> See, that's just about it. So with this computer, I can like do everything um, using this software. I can go on Netflix and watch movies. I can go on. I can go on YouTube. Thing that a normal person would do, a normal sighted person would do on the computer. To shut it down, I also hit all that four to close all the documents. Tab, talk to her, talk, tab, start the list box, toggle start navigator, enter, expanded, user account, documents, pictures, settings, power, enter, menu, shut down, enter, power, P. 
And there goes my computer shutting down. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I am able to read documents. Honey hands me papers, how I'm able to see them. So this big old case holds my Vizio book. Um, this is like a smaller version of a CCTV, which I forget what it stands for, but some of my visually impaired friends, please comment below if you remember what CCTV stands for. I really don't remember what it stands for, but <laughs> basically it's a magnifier. It helps you read papers, you know, write stuff. So this one is a portable one, so you can easily... My zipper stuff. So you can easily take it wherever you go. And it's not, versus like a big old huge television screen, you know. Just get a piece of paper to write on. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get a little marker. Okay, so. This is a portable CCTV, which is called a Vizio book, or um, there's another name for one of them, but I forget. But to open it, all you do is pull this up, like that, and then it comes out, oh, like that. Bam, Vizio book. Okay, so to turn it on, you hit that button which turns it on you can actually like have it this low and in, in, like if you're just looking at something you can have it that low um right now it's showing me everything right here you know everything right here because I pointed it towards the wall so I can show you guys how it projects and you can zoom in and out using this like if you need to get closer or need to go all the way back but that's just how you zoom in and zoom out so yeah that's what that is so i'm gonna go back to the little they give you a space to put your paper so i'm gonna put the piece of paper right here and i look at the screen so it's gonna look like this um, let me go get a pen or something. When I have to write something, I use a 2020 pen, which is basically a marker that doesn't bleed through the paper. You know, because I can't really, I can't see pencil and I can't see pen. The only time I can really see a pencil is if I use this and then I change the mode to like that or that. So this feature is actually for people if they have um if they can't for like contrast like if they can't see a white paper they change it to whatever contrast they can see the paper so so when i'm writing a paper i basically just look at this and just like write whatever i want so i'm going to show you guys how big it has to be for me to see to see what i'm writing okay so this is pretty this is like how big I have to look at it to see. And I normally use either this feature. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Or this one. So if my eyes get tired if I focus on something too long. So with this, with this um, CCTV, if I'm reading something on it, I cannot be reading for a long amount of time or my eyes will start hurting and I will start to get a headache and sometimes I actually really get sick. Like I end up throwing up. I'll show you guys my cane, which a lot of you probably have seen before, but I cannot find it and I have to call my dad and I know he's going to be like, you should keep up with your stuff. Just what? Hey, Dad, have you seen my cane? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I saw it on the floor. I think it's on the chair. The front. It's in the front. Which chair? The couch chair or regular chair? Um, I think regular chair. Okay. I was... 
Yeah. No, because I'm doing a video and I need. I was going to show them the cane. So I said, I wish you would have gave me a better reaction because I told them that you were going to be like, you should keep up with your stuff. Uh, uh, who you saying that to? The vlog. Like you're uh, in. You got me live? It's not live, but I'm recording, yes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye. Bye. So he didn't give me the reaction I wanted, but let me eat. This, guys, is a cane for the visually impaired. It's called a white cane. It's not called the stick, okay? It is called a white cane. I apologize for mine. Look at the little raggedy. He's been through it. But so I use a rolling tip. So there's a lot of different tips. The rolling tip that I use is good for um, if you're going through grass or like woods or gravel because you can keep a constant contact with the ground so you know you're going down the steps if there's like bumps on the sidewalk it tells you so you don't fall um and stuff like that and then there's also a pencil tip which i personally hate but that's more for people who are um who like to do the two-point touch you know and i'll be showing you guys the different types of touches and yes, I'm in my pajamas. This is kind of how I, this is how I walk with my cane. I'm gonna walk like that. So the key is that you have to move your cane along with your feet. Meaning like, if you move your cane to the left, then you walk with your right foot. Move it to the right, then you with your left foot. You just go, you know, just to keep it in coordination. Because if you're like, like this, it's not like, I mean, it's not really a big deal, but they train you to do it that way. Don't really know why. So this is the constant contact. You know, it, it hits something before your body does. So you run into a wall. It's going to make contact with the wall before you do. So you know, hey, there's something there. You know, it's a dead end or whatever. Oh, if you know me and you're visually impaired or you're a visually impaired teacher that's watching this, and I had miss said something, please call me. I'm pretty sure you might have my number or put in the comments below and correct me on if I said something wrong or if I have to do another video explaining something else. But yeah, so that's pretty much like the basics. I use this to walk around. Um, I use my Visio book to um, write out assignments or anything else someone hands me in print to be able to read it. Um, I use my laptop to type my papers, emails, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm going to close out today's video right here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family, and I will be back with more videos. Peace.